Toledo Rockets. The Toledo Rockets went seven and six last year, five and three in the MAC. They return eight guys on offense, five guys on defense. Look, it, offense was not the problem last year, and they return eight guys. It's never going to be the problem, it, by the way. Jason Candle, he's, he's 28 and 13 in three years. He has, they, they have to put up a ton of points in order to win. Tons of experience back on offense. Both quarterbacks from 2018, they lost uh, three all MAC wide receivers. I don't know that it matters. You are of the it, opinion that it's, it's well, and at Toledo especially, yeah. it's just one of those places where their offense is a machine, man. They they just print a new quarterback that looks the same as the old quarterback. They print new receivers that look like the old receivers. Same thing, just crazy speed at the backfield. Just it's yeah. just how they play. It's, that's how it, they do. That's how they recruit. Tuesday and Wednesday night college football where Toledo's on. Just doesn't get better. It, bet the over. Always bet the over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they won four of their last five before the bowl game. The defense was number 103 against the pass, but they do return three out of five starters in the secondary. Uh, they they bring back two guys on the defensive line. There is some hope there that they can actually progress a little bit, but I, I think there's still problems with their defensive philosophy here. Like, I I, I don't think that there is enough. They, they put – all of their talent on offense, I feel like. They do. They and, don't feel that way. They do. Yeah. They so do. it's so I, I think what Jason Candle wants to do is is put up points. And that grabs people's attention. So they, so you see these offenses that do this, and you notice that most of them who are just crazy high flying offenses, their defenses are either not good or they always regress. Yeah. They're on the field so much because your offense either goes three and out or they score in three seconds. Yeah. And so your defensive guys just don't have the gas to keep playing that way. That That's just the nature of the style. It, it, I don't even know that it reflects poorly on those players. It, it's just a style of play in which they, which they run. If you don't have the endurance, and it's not because you're out of shape, Yeah, you, I bet their defensive guys play more snaps than almost any other defensive guys in the MAC. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. So, so that's, a, that's a tough thing. But it don't mean you can't win some fun football games. No, you're right about that. So they they went seven and five in the regular season last year, lost the bowl game. I've got them one game better than that. I've got them eight and four Ooh. this year. Okay, uh, I've got them six and two. So you in like the back. them? You like? Them. I like Toledo. I like Toledo. I, 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 I think like the them. schedule sets up really well. I like them too. I got them once again. This whole thing is clustered. I got them seven and five going again. This team. I feel like every year I know exactly who they are and exactly what they are. Yeah. And I'm I mean, okay with that. That's true. I like consistency in my life. That's here's, all right. Here's what I've got with them, all right? I've, I've got them losing at Kentucky, beating Murray State at home, winning at Colorado State, losing to BYU, beating Western Michigan, uh, beating Bowling Green on the road, losing at Ball State, beating Eastern Michigan at home, beating Kent State at home, beating Northern Illinois at home, Losing at Buffalo and then winning at Central Michigan, and that gets you to eight and four. So the the at Buffalo at Ball State, like again Toledo, it, since Matt Campbell was there, has not been like a ten and two type of team. So they're going to lose some Matt games somewhere. Uh, yeah, I just think they're going to lose to the really good teams. Yeah, and not to the the lower end teams that are rebuilding. And and totally feasible. But that's but that's with this type of offense. And the defense being that bad, I guess this is one of those teams that they could beat anybody. I mean, they go into Kentucky yeah. and beat them, and or they could slip up and lose to Ball State. Like exactly. that's just it. Just is what it is. Is what it is. All right, let's wrap up. 